Well, I would say to people like, look, you know, if you if I've ever read Malcolm Gladwell, you know, one one rises and becomes an expert on ten thousand hours of something, and for me that was sales and biz dev, right? So you find an area. By the way, when I say broad, when you come out of school, you don't know. Mostly it's about building skills and discovering what you love, right? And for me, yes. I discovered I was both good at sales and I loved it. I learned financial literacy and financial and now analytics, and I learned to love it. Like I. I wanted to master it. And then once I became competent, I really loved the numbers too, right? I didn't know I loved the numbers, but I do. So I learned those two things about myself. And I ended up in a career in mostly sales and business development, business development being quite a nice hybrid between, you know, needing to be able to assess opportunities financially, but also pursue them like sales. Um, so that's great. Okay, so you master something and you, you can ride quite high on a functional dimension. But if you hmm. say, hey, I want to be a CEO, let's just think about that for a moment. Or, and I want to be an entrepreneur, I'm like, Okay, that's about learning the skills you don't know, right? So by its very nature, you will have to step off the deep track at some point and take a risk to learn something you don't know. Like literally, um, it turns out that it's not like just literal. Research also shows that in today's day and age, the best path to a CEO ship is a winding one. Literally, CEOs you know, and executives who take time to broaden their skills are mm-hmm. more likely to ascend than those who just stick to what they know. So by its very nature, I'll say if you want to grow, right, doesn't that mean that at some point you encounter a set of problems that you have no experience in? That is the very definition of like growth. 